It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer called Lumen and it's an Australian lager in a 330 milliliter bottle. And it says, or is described as superior refreshment. It's 4.4% ABV. It's a jet black bottle with a gold bottle cap. Now, I had to do a little bit of research because on the back here, it says it's been produced for, or brewed and bottled in Australia for Pinnacle Drinks. Now that made me think immediately, mm, Pinnacle Drinks, is that like a spin-off of, a, it sounds like a large company, doesn't it? And the way this beer's been presented, the way it looks, again, it looks like a large company. So it's not like Budweiser, Heineken, Carlsberg, it's not owned by anyone kind of like that. It's still a big company in Australia, so Pinnacle, uh, they are owned by another company that produce, well, they produce uh, slot machines, gambling machines, poker machines, and they've got a hotel chain. So they're a big, big company. But again, this could be very good because it's not brewed by one of the larger breweries out there. So I felt like I had to do a little bit of research on this one, to be honest with you. It's got that kind of well-marketed well branded well thought out kind of look to it so let's get the beer out into a glass see what we get a little bit of smoke on the bottle opening uh beer in the glass gonna say a massive thank you to trav in australia for sending me this one i um, hope you don't mind me doing the research on this trav i just felt the need to do it i suppose it's the, the, the trouble is, if I go into the review saying, oh, yeah, and, you know, it's produced by Pinnacle Drinks and I don't know who Pinnacle Drinks are or what they do or are they owned by Heineken? I don't know. I've done that plenty of times before. And some of you appreciate that I go in totally blind with a review, but some of you appreciate a little bit of research, a little bit of background about it. So I decided to do that today. So let's have a look at the beer then. We've got slow moving carbonation rolling up the side of the glass. We've got a one finger white head on this one. There's a little bit of haze going on, to be honest with you, which is pretty cool. And you've got a nice amount of carbonation rolling up the middle of the glass. As you rock the beer back and forth, you can see that head rolling up the glass. It looks very good, a very well made, very nice looking beer. Look at that. Let's get the aroma then on its this, I'm going to say a light amber, slightly hazy coloured lager with no, oh, actually, I say no sediment. There is, there's a little bit of sediment in the bottom of the glass. Can you see it swirling round there? Right, aroma. Oh, it smells okay, that. Definite kind of zestiness coming through, a little bit of maybe stinging nettle and peppers, black pepper spices coming through. It's a beautiful calm morning here this morning. There's not a breath of wind. It's cold still. I've got my jacket on, but it's, it's cold, but the sun's out and there's, you could hear a pin drop. Just how I like it. Let's dive in. On that note, let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, fair play. That's a lovely drop. That's a nice... Nice glass of lager. It's really refreshing. Really refreshing and really drinkable. You get the zestiness of a little bit of lemon but it's definitely the back end of that, that really impresses me with this beer. It's that stinging nettle and 
that kind of spicy pepperiness, that bitterness on the back end. So stinging nettle, um, what am I talking about then? So um, on, in the Darwin Tree of Life, hopefully you've all seen the, the Charles Darwin Tree of Life, all the branches are all kind of like more or less interwined and it all kind of like branching off into each direction. So the hops, say you've got one small branch, the hops and the stinging nettle are actually very, very closely related. They're actually cousins on the Darwin tree of life. So you can be mistaken sometimes or, or actually not mistaken because before the use of hops, definitely before the use of New World hops and an and old fashioned German and British hops, if you like, your Bramling Cross and all those, Styrian Goldins, they used stinging nettle. So hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years ago, before they found hops, they used to use stinging nettles in the beer to preserve the beer. And that's what hops were predominantly used for back in the day was just to preserve the beer it was just put in there just to make that beer last a little bit longer and and of course so was stinging nettles if you use that so you can imagine them being so close on the darwin tree of life you can you can imagine a certain hop i'll have a look on the bottle now to see what hop they've used hopefully they mention it but you you can imagine that the, the, the hop being so close as a cousin that it, it will taste like stinging nettle But to, to begin with, it's got a nice multi sweetness coming through too. That's very refreshing. Very, very refreshing, this one. It's really nicely balanced between that wafer crisp malt to begin with the sweetness of the malt over there and then the bitterness of the hop over here it's really quite tremendous actually it's a really decent decently made lag and it's balanced it's hoppy it's sweet it's got a nice middle it's refreshing you get that malt quality come through i like that i really like that and i can imagine Drinking that on a hot summer's day. I'm going to say in the UK because if I you, I've said it before. I say Australia, boiling hot country, but that's only from what we see over here in the UK. Whenever you see television adverts for stuff in Australia, it's always like red hot desert, and a lot of Australia is not like that. It's just what the rest of the world presumes Australia is like. But I'd, I'd, I'd have four or five of these bottles and I'd, I'd have it at a barbecue. I love my barbecues in the summer. It's the reason why I'm doing so much work in the garden is because realising life that the reason why I haven't kind of got into that early 40s stage of your life where you're doing a lot of barbecuing is because I just haven't had the, the design of garden to do it. But I will this summer. I definitely will. I'm going to have all sorts of different areas out there for cooking and dancing, playing football. <laughs> um, so um, let's have a look at the hops in this one then. Oh, let's read the description first. Lumen Lager is brewed using traditional premium methods to showcase the best of old and new world flavour. There we are. So they, they're talking about using old world hops then. Uh, and that ties in with that stinging nettle taste. Protected against Australia's intense sunlight in our distinctive black bottle, Lumen delivers on superior taste and refreshment. Um, it's Waterloo Street, Surrey Hills in New South Wales, Australia. 4.4% um, ABV. I like it. I, I really like it. I really like it. Um, I could drink bottle after bottle after bottle of that. I really could. Even the birds are singing again. Even the birds are singing again. They must like the sound of this lager too. I'm going to rate it. I really like this beer. I think it's tremendous, absolutely tremendous. Um, it, it's a really good, refreshing quality 
Australian lager. And I want to say a big thank you to Trav for sending me this beer. It's, it's, it's really tasty, really tasty. I like that enough to give it a Stone the Crows 9 out of 10. It's a 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers!